All right, so I have this 2D project here, right? And let's say just for a dumb, stupid example, I wanted to animate this barrel. So I have this barrel sprite game object. And for now, I'll just reset its transform. And at this point, I can go to window, animation, animation. And now with the barrel selected in my hierarchy, I can click on this create animation button. I'll just name this like barrel animation. I don't know, this is stupid. All right, so if you've never used the Unity Animator, you see we have this timeline down here, right? So we'll start at zero, and this goes up to 60 frames, which is basically one second. You can change that with this value here, but basically every 60 seconds by default is one second. And so we can actually record, I'll go back to zero and hit this red record button. You'll notice it looks like it's recording now, it's a red bar. And I'm gonna go halfway to say like 30 and drag up the barrel. And then I'm just gonna copy paste the starting position at the 60 frame mark and stop recording. And so now when we play, right, we see this barrel is just going up and down. So this is like a really simple animation, right? But I want you to notice the issue. When we run the game, we notice the barrel's in the middle of the screen and it's just going up and down. But let's say we wanted a bunch of barrels to do this, right? And let's say we wanted to move it around. Like, let's say I move the barrel from the middle all the way to this left wall. We would expect that the barrel's gonna go up and down along this wall, right? Then how come when we play the game, even though we moved it over in the scene view, it's going back to the center here? So you might already have a guess, but what's actually happening here is in our barrel animation when we play it, we see that it goes from this left wall, I can hit play, and it immediately teleports back to the center. That's because when we recorded our animation, we set the position from zero and then we would change like the Y value. So it's always going to zero something zero, like the location in game, where we want this to be more like a local position. And so a really quick fix for this is to create an empty game object. I'll call this something like barrel parent. I'll reset the barrel parent and then we'll drag the barrel underneath it. And you could name these something different, right? The parent could actually be barrel and this could be like sprite or whatever. So right now our barrel parent's set to the origin of 000. I can click on our barrel and we'll reset the transform as well. And so now when we're playing, we're going to be moving the barrel up and down relative to where this barrel parent position is, okay? So I can move this barrel over to the left now and run the game. And you'll notice it's moving over here where it's supposed to. And you'll actually see if I select our barrel here, it's still moving the Y position up and down, but that's not world position, that's local position based on the parent's world position. So I hope this makes sense. Again, nice little quick video, but I have seen some comments about people having trouble with this, and it helps you understand the Unity Editor and Animator a little bit better with how these objects are structured when they have a parent-child relationship. So thanks for watching, see you guys in the next one.